What's up guys, welcome to Japan's September events guide. As summer winds down, we're seeing fewer festivals, but that doesn't mean that there aren't still tons of things to do in September. As always, dates may change year to year, so please consult the links below for further information. Let's kick things off with Tombo Art, held every June right through to October. I didn't mention Tombo Art before because the Japan Cheapo site that I usually consult didn't mention it until now. In Aomori Prefecture, right at the top of Honshu, is this incredible rice field art display. Each year the theme changes and it just blows my mind how good it is. You can view the Tombo art from observation towers. Entry to the towers costs 200 or 500 yen, and there's a free shuttle bus that runs between the two locations. I actually filmed Tombo art back in 2015 when I visited Aomori, but this was before I seriously got into vlogging. I didn't have enough footage to put together a fully fledged vlog, but I'm glad that I finally get to use that B-roll. The Zento Esa Festival is held in Okinawa from August 31st to September 2nd. This is an Okinawan Obon festival. The mainstay of the festival is Asa dances, which occur throughout the three-day period. On the first day of the festival, there will be an Asa dance procession. On the second day, there's a youth festival. And on the evenings of the second and third nights, there's a laser show as well as a fireworks display. Speaking of fireworks, the National New Fireworks Games is held on September 1st in Suwa, Nagano Prefecture. In Japan, fireworks technicians work in tandem, a master and an apprentice, kind of like the Sith. This is a competition that allows apprentice fireworks technicians to show off their stuff. They design fireworks that will explode in the most intricate and colorful patterns that you have ever seen. As you know, fireworks in Japan are huge business and they're a hallmark of Japanese summer. Every year, hundreds of fireworks festivals take place across the country. 300,000 people will descend on Suwa City's Kohan Park to view 18,000 fireworks. On September 8th, in Nagashima Mie Prefecture, the Kihoku Lantern Festival takes place. This festival features a giant floating peacock lantern on the water, accompanied by fireworks, to produce a beautiful display. In Kyoto, at the iconic Kiyomizudera Temple, is the Seiryue Dragon Festival from September 14th to 15th. It features a dance procession of an impressively designed dragon at the temple and the surrounding neighborhood. It is also said that the dragon drinks from the Otowa waterfall, which is underneath the temple's main hall. In Nagasaki, from September 15th to 16th, is the Kyoryuchi Festival. This festival takes place in Oura, which is the site of Nagasaki's foreign settlement, which opened in the late 1850s. The festival celebrates the influence that the foreign settlement had on Nagasaki. So as you would expect, it's a celebration of foreign culture. You can expect to see a bazaar, choir performances, art workshops, a stamp rally, chess tournament, a bagpipe band, and food and drinks. The Danjiri Matsuri is also held from September 15th to 16th in Kishiwara, just south of Osaka. This is one of my favorite festivals and I've attended it twice. This impressive 300-year-old festival features giant Danjiri floats pulled by the townspeople. There are 34 floats that take part in the festival, each float coming from a particular neighborhood and pulled by the people of that neighborhood. The highlight of the festival is when the floats are pulled at top speed around corners in a process called Yari Mawashi. It's an absolutely incredible spectacle to behold. And then come nightfall, the floats are covered in beautiful lanterns. In addition to the floats, there are tons of food, drink and game stalls to really get you into the festival spirit. My second ever vlog was filmed at the Kishiwara Danjiri Matsuri. So if you're interested in seeing Baby Lin cutting his vlogging chops, that video is available up here as well as down below. Kyoto's International Manga and Anime Fair also takes place from September 15th to 16th. This convention showcases the best of Japan's graphic novel and animation culture. Entry is 1200 yen, but I've heard that foreigners get in free if they show their passport. But please take that information with a grain of salt. Also in Kyoto, but the following weekend, from September 22nd to 24th, is the Kangetsu no Yube. 
This event is centered around Skimi, or full moon viewing. Every September at the time of the full moon, Japan celebrates Skimi, which literally means moon viewing. People will sit and look at the full moon to appreciate its beauty. Other Skimi traditions include the display of Japanese pampas grass and eating Skimi dango, which are small rice cake balls. As part of the Kangetsu no Yube, you can view the full moon from boats on Osawa Pond next to Daikuji Temple. Entry to the temple costs 500 yen for adults and 300 yen for children. To board the boats, it costs 1,000 yen each, and tickets are sold on a first come, first serve basis. There are also tea ceremonies and musical performances. To take part in the tea ceremony, it costs 1,800 yen, and that includes matcha green tea as well as traditional Japanese sweets. Also on the weekend of the 22nd to 24th is the 12th annual Kansai Queer Film Festival. Japan's acceptance of the LGBTQ community has been slow going, but this film festival is a great step in the right direction. International films from countries as varied as Armenia, Tonga, South Korea, Brazil, and many more will be featured. This year will also feature a special program of six films highlighting queer deaf culture. On September 24th is the Uneme Festival in Nara. This festival has quite tragic roots. A court lady by the name of Uneme, spurned by the emperor, drowned herself in Sarusawa Lake centuries ago. Every year this festival is held in Uneme's memory and it's regarded as one of Japan's most beautiful matsuris. A procession of locals in period costume will proceed from JR Nara Station to the lake and board ornately decorated dragon boats. The lantern lit boats will float across the water whilst making offerings to Uneme. The procession will also feature Miss Uneme beauty queens and children dressed in special attire. And finally, the Ramen Girls Festival runs from September 27th to October 8th in Osaka. This festival celebrates ramen and encourages women to eat it without being body image conscious. This festival is broken up across two weekends, the first running from September 27th to October 2nd, and the second part is from October 4th to 8th. There's some really unique ramen available at this festival, with vendors attending from across the country. I went to this event last year and had a really good time. If you'd like to see that video, it's available up here as well as down below. And that's it for September's events. Let me know which event looks the most interesting to you in the comments down below. Every single week I make a video, so if you like this video, hit that like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this in the future. Hit that notification bell to know as soon as I upload a new video. My name is Lin Yunt. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. I didn't mention tumbo art before because that wasn't... that didn't... This is a competition that allows apprentice comp... Uh, fireworks. Floating lantern... peacock lantern peacock. Lantern peacock? Peacock lantern.